What's up guys? TJ here with another TJ tutorial video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. So today I'm doing a video uh, about processing your audio. Um, I've been making these Let's Play videos for the last um, couple of weeks and I recently purchased a uh, desk mic or a mic. I don't know what you call this thing, but it's a mic. And when I was recording my audio, you know, it sounded fairly decent, um, but it wasn't better than the lavalier mic that I was using before, you know, the, uh, my, the clip mic on my clothes. And so I went on Amazon and I was looking at mics. I didn't know what to look for. There were so many different ones, USB, uh, you know, just the plug in desk mics. And I ended up purchasing a toner. Uh, microphone and it works absolutely uh, absolutely amazing um, I am going to do a full review on that microphone and it should be out before I release this video and if it is it's going to be at the top right hand corner up here you see my mouse up there moving around there it is all right and I'm going to do a full review on the setup and everything of the microphone and anyway whenever whenever I was recording my audio I noticed that it wasn't really up to par with what I had assumed it was going to sound like. And you know, so I did some research on YouTube and on the internets and I found out that you have to process your audio um, before you um, actually, you know, attach it to a video or, or anything like that. Now when I use my shotgun mic, it really doesn't necessarily need too much processing. I don't know if it automatically does it, um, but the audio is fairly processed whenever I um, use my Rode shotgun mic. Um, so I'm just going to do this really quick video showing you how I process my audio. Um, the first thing I guess I'm going to do is I'm going to record like a little snippet. So hold on one second. Alright, so this is my clip that I just recorded. This is just my standard um, hello clip when I start my videos and if you notice at the beginning I have like a little space here I always leave the space here because that's how you're going to get your note or your noise profile um, so the first thing you need to do is open up audacity if you don't have it a u d a c i t y I will leave a link to it in the uh, description section below uh, so you can download that piece of software so essentially this is a sound recording software but you can also process and do some cool things to uh, your audio before you attach it to your video uh, so now I have my sound clip so what you need to do is delete any extra so we'll delete that because I don't need that end part alright and I'm gonna go ahead and play what the audio sounds like right now what's up guys TJ here with another fulfillment by Amazon video if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe I really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos alright now we're gonna go ahead with the process and so you may want to get a pen and paper out so you can write these uh, steps down but the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure it's not you don't have anything selected go up here to effects and go down to normalize you want to make sure this is set on negative 1 dB and you're going to press OK. Alright, so that's done. The next thing you're going, to want to, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your noise profile. So this little first part right here, that's going to be like the hiss and hum uh, that you get when you don't have just like a clean source uh, of your audio being plugged into. So you'll highlight that part and you will go to effects we'll go to noise removal and you will click on get noise profile alright that's done now you just want to click off of that selection so that um, the next part will do the entire clip you want to click effect then you're going to click on noise removal and you're going to press OK and it's going to remove the noise from the entire um, audio selection doesn't take that long alright the next thing you want to do is push effects Go to normalize, make sure it's negative 1 dB, and press OK. Alright, once that is done, you're going to go to effects, and you are going to go to equaliz equalization. Alright, so if you've never messed around with this part before, this part will probably look a little different than mine. 
but take a minute and uh, note where I have my points. So I put a set point here. There's one, two, three, four, five set points. And notice these uh, set points correlate with a dB size over here and also with the hertz down here at the bottom. So you're going to want to put your first dot um, up here by 6 dB and you're gonna um, you you can put it anywhere in this 20 hertz uh, portion of it so put your dot there and then put you another dot um, right here at the 100 hertz right after it you can click on that so you need to make sure this linear line is in this position right here right below 6 db all right your third dot is going to be uh, two spots after your 400 hertz so you can expand this screen and it'll give you um, more customization or more uh, options down at the bottom where you can see what you're doing so this third one is right after the 500 hertz mark so you put your dot there and you want to make sure it has the same um, curve or graph here so then from that one you're going to go straight along the bold uh, 0 db line and you're going to put another dot at 4000 hertz and you're going to put another dot at I believe that's 5000 yes you're going to put another dot at 5000 hertz and what you want to do is you want to go from 4000 hertz to 5000 hertz you want to go up uh, from 0 to that 6 uh, db that we started with at the beginning so essentially what this is going to do is going to accentuate your highs and the lows in your voice and it's going to give you that really really good uh, audio quality um, so once you do that you'll need to um, this last part just needs to be at the same level as the first part and like I said, just look at this graph and you can copy this uh, straight onto your screen. You're going to press OK. That is going to do its thing. And we're going to go back and we're going to normalize. Notice we normalize every time we take a step. And then we're going to click on effects. And then we're going to go to compressor. So we want to compress our audio. And just make sure you change your threshold to negative 20 dB. And make sure your settings here are the same. I think these are the default settings but this one right here you will have to change so change that to negative 20 decibels and press ok and then you're going to go to effects and you're going to go to normalize negative 1 db and press ok and that is it i'm going to play the process audio now what's up guys tj here with another fulfillment by amazon video if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i release new videos all right and i'm also what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the unprocessed audio first and i'm going to play the process audio second that way you can get a really good feel as to um how the audio sounds unprocessed versus processed what's up guys tj here with another fulfillment by amazon video if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i release new videos what's up guys tj here with another fulfillment by amazon video if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe i really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i release new videos all right, guys, so that's it for processing audio. If you have any other questions about this, you can just shoot a comment in the comment section below, or you can go visit me on my website, tjlovelady.com, uh, and shoot me a message on there. Um, also, please check out my review on the toner uh, desk mic. I think that's what it's called. I think it's a USB mic. Maybe that's what it's called, a toner USB mic. Uh, you can grab that on amazon.com for less than 30 bucks i believe when i bought it it was 27 dollars uh, i also put that a link to that in the uh, description section below so you can check that out um so that's i think that's it for today guys i really appreciate you guys for watching yeah.